Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Uh, hey, take a look, the lost post-it no post note is done. We unlocked Godhead, uh, got everything done, including Mega Satan. And, oh look, my, uh, recording software decided not to record it, uh, and stay in preview mode. Screw you, OBS. So today we're gonna play as Blue Baby. We need to go to the Dark Room, uh, and Sheel with Blue Baby. In my opinion, Blue Baby is the second hardest character in the game. Uh, when you don't have the Keeper unlocked, because uh, honestly, Keeper's probably the hardest, Lost is second, and then Blue Baby, in my own honest opinion. So we will try our best to uh, have a successful Blue Baby run here. But, you know, who knows? It seems like whenever I play off-cam, I get incredible runs uh, and do incredible things. And when I play on-cam, uh, the game decides to give me, you know, 16 range upgrades, uh, Mr. Bomb Buddy, and that's it. So, hopefully we get something a little bit better on this run. Obviously, there are some Blue Baby items uh, that really benefit. Stuff like uh, Book of Revelation, Satanic Bible, either of those two are, like, incredible items. Uh, we do not have to go... Sure, we'll take Kidney Bean. It's not the best. Uh... We do not have to go the Angel Deal route. We can take deals with the Devil if we have the HP for them, because uh, we do not need to go to Mega Satan on this run. Obviously, if we get insanely overpowered and somehow find a way to get the key pieces, uh, you're damn straight knowing that I'm going to go fight Mega Satan for the absolute fun of it, but we don't have to. And we're going to be uh, fighting Mega Satan a lot in the next couple episodes, because that's like all we got left for a lot of characters. So, should be a fun time. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Uh, it is quite warm outside, which I like. Uh, I was just outside shooting hoops. I'm a little, uh, a little sweaty. I don't think anybody needs to know that, but it is a little hot in my house. A little hot outside. That's what happens. Uh, air conditioning is a beautiful thing, uh, but sometimes it just isn't up to speed at the greatest volume of AC that one could possibly want. Okay, don't don't take more damage on Ragman. Ragman is, uh, Ragman's a pain is what Ragman is. Uh, thank you for firing some more. Uh, basically we want anything but HP upgrades from our boss here, uh, and that is, you know, not exactly what I asked for at all. But we go on to the next floor, we hope to find some tinted rocks here, uh, to get spirit hearts. We also hope to do this and get a cricket's head. Okay, that was basically exactly what I was gonna say, so... I'm 100% okay with this uh, little pickup right now. Cricket's Head's a great damage up. Uh, there goes our deal with Devil Opportunity, which is not the best. But, you know what? We picked up Cricket's Head. I'd say this room is worth it. Excellent. It's been a couple days since I've even played, let alone record Isaac. I had that lost run. I ended up, I got carried by uh, Pinking Shears. Not even like a... Uh, car battery pinking shears it was just straight up one pinking shear just demolished uh mega satan and i have newfound respect for that item man that is a pretty insanely good item okay how do we want to do this okay excellent that, that worked out flawlessly uh never a doubt in my mind that was gonna go uh poorly there Okay, uh, but anyway, it was a real nice and easy lost run. I mean, there were still times where we had to play really well in order to get things done. But overall, it was like the game just continued to feed me good items. Serpent's Kiss is actually very good. Uh, and we will hope for a bit of money here. Instead, we don't get any. Uh, I'm still 100% fine with that. This makes going to the shop now uh, a little bit more of a priority in my book since we have the money to do so. And I think I'm going to blow up all those. Uh, you know what? Swallow Penny is an acceptable pickup here. Basically, if we go to the shop, we can buy a Spirit Heart. And then if we get a deal with the Devil, which right now uh, is not likely, then we can uh, access a deal with the Devil and take one if it's uh, an incredible item. Like, you know, the Mark, the Pack. I'm not acting for too, too much. Like, I'm not going, hey, Mom's Knife, Brimstone. Uh, give me both of them on the cheap. You know, have... The deal with the devil also dropped three spirit hearts, so we can take both of them. I'm not asking for that, I'm just asking for uh, a little bit of uh, nice damage up, maybe a nice tears up. We will get another spirit heart, pop.
possibly, or a small rock is also totally acceptable. Damage is already getting off the charts a little bit. We're going to take the Spirit Heart. Bogo Bombs is good, uh, but I don't think it is a priority for us to pick it up right now. And then we just try not to get hit on our boss. A Widow fight would be really nice here. Uh, little Horn, also totally acceptable in my book. The sooner we get rid of Kidney Bean, the better. Uh, it's, it's real bad, to be completely honest with you. Uh, of course, it goes towards the bean transformation. That's not actually a thing. Don't don't listen to me. Uh, okay, this is a interesting one. We take this, then we take this. That gives us two. Okay, uh, beautiful. I love it. Got a damage up, got tears up, also got uh, Guppy's Collar. So we basically got two really great items for one Spirit Heart, I think. Is that how that worked out? I'm fine with it. However it worked out, uh, sign me up. In my books, it is good. We are in great shape on this run, which is something I don't really say often anymore. And I appreciate the fact that I can say it on this run with uh, a lot of great uh, passion. Serpent's Kiss is also very good because we can essentially get black hearts uh, out of nowhere. Uh, do we take Libra here? You know what? I don't think we do. Uh, Libra, I've found, is really really good with some items uh and then just really absolutely terrible with others i'm gonna emperor out of here uh get a husk fight for instance dr fetus with libra i really enjoy uh because you get an insane uh amount of bombs coming out and obviously that's not every single time, but it's likely that that will be the case most of the time. Do we want to check out our shop? I feel like we should, just because we're, uh, you know, I am a little bit lazy, but I'm feeling like when we have this much money, it would benefit us to go check out our shop. I mean, we shouldn't be so lazy. Like, we're doing really good on time. Uh, and going to our shop, that's one extra spirit heart at the very least. Uh, and... Okay, we'll take the strength card here. So at the very least, one extra spirit heart, which can, you know, that can save the day, uh, depending on the situation. There's Serpent's Kiss paying out already, uh, making it a real good item. And here's our shop, in which we will pick up the 7 cent map and then the 5 cent spirit heart. A lot of people are going to be like, uh, Tyler, blue candle is hands down best item there. You asked for a, uh, you know reason to get rid of kidney bean i get that uh and i accept that and say that that is somewhere that people may have taken a different route than me uh check out the seed xevc 921k uh not 401k which is completely different but that's where a lot of people may differ from me i went more for the utility items and the straight up damage uh, i kind of like where our damage is at with our tiers i see no reason to uh go and start relying on blue candle for damage when we already like have something good going for us kind of intrigued that this isn't a yeah i was gonna say this is probably a boss room this is somewhere where we you know take really stupid damage on a blown up barrel but this is somewhere where i'd be totally fine taking shoop the whoop now and if it wants to drop shoop the whoop i'm all in uh can we also notice that we got uh four black hearts from this and a key and a bomb I i'd say that was pretty worth it HP now off the charts, and life is looking good. Still have to find our item room, still have to find our shop. Uh, hopefully we run into one of them on the way. Boss trap room, intriguing. I will most likely go to it and then not do it, because it's going to have a singular uh, gray chest in it, but, you know, we'll see. Excellent, and excellent. What do you got? Uh, okay, this is a lot more intriguing. I will blow up those to start. We are going to be back there. Uh, I don't know why I blew those up now instead of waiting until we had the right number of keys, but I feel like that's a good opportunity to, one, get a Guppy's Head pickup. We're going to come in here, too, because uh, I'm going to blow up this. That's going to give us a pill. That pill is addicted. That did not work at all how I planned. Okay, we're looking for enough keys to access our item room, our shop. Uh, actually, shop is less valuable now. But our item room and our boss trap room. Uh, that was some flaming BS. I do not appreciate that in the slightest. Okay, there's our boss. Also our shop. Interesting. Probably going to fight the boss now. 
Uh, I see no reason not to. Do we go to our shop? Sure, we'll go to our shop, buy... I think blank card is the obvious pickup here, so we'll wait and hope we pick up some more money. Blank card is probably never going to be the wrong choice uh, on a run. There's obviously times where a different item may be, you know, better, but you can never really go wrong with blank card. It's like if you go to a restaurant and you love pizza a lot, but you also love burgers, and the place is really well known for uh, their burgers. You could go, okay, man, I, I love me some pizza, let's get some pizza, but you already know, like, you're fine taking a burger too. Like, no matter what, you're in good hands with this restaurant. That was the worst analogy ever, uh, but, you know, it's, it, it makes sense if you think about it. Okay, bombs are also good. Bombs can blow up money in the donation machine, which allows us to pick it up. This is where I'd love to have a hero font card, or not a hero font, a uh, thing majiggy. Stupid remove your head card. Hangman, that's the word. Speaking of Hangman, I've been playing a load of Town of Salem lately. And I think I'm getting good. Okay, there's our item room. Did we go to that? Yeah, we picked up Epiphora, uh, which, you know, it's okay. It'll make our tears get faster and faster as we go. Uh, okay, uh, we have Perthro. Do we trust going and... Okay, here's what we do. We go back to here. We pop all the poops. Okay, there's one coin. I think I can trust the machine to pump out three uh, coins. But actually, what we're going to do is first go in here. We're going to play this. Because we got Swallowed Penny, so there's that payout. Now we go and blow up this guy. He drops Red Hearts. That's not really what I had in mind. But we go up here... We buy blank card. Then we keep blank card per throw and you know, go on with our day. I kind of forgot I had the per throw rune. That now makes blank card like really good because we have a four charge D6 in our hand now. Uh, and that, that is pretty okay, I'd say. You know, only one of the best items in the game. Uh, and we have a better version of it. I, I'm down with that. Should get a deal with the devil here. Awesome. A range upgrade I'm totally fine with. Uh, and then our deal with the devil is Cramparoonie, which I will take Lump of Coal uh, if given to me. And then if uh, it's Krampus's head, we re-roll it. Okay, it's Lump of Coal. I believe we take that and call it a day. We pick up our Blackheart. Uh, that was real bad. Uh, and then we go. Beautiful. Uh, no reason to stick around on this floor. We're making really good time for Boss Rush. Uh, and that's something we will probably look to teleport out of maybe i'm thinking that down is where all of our utility crap is like our shop our item room etc etc and then up is where our boss is could be wrong uh looking at where secret rooms could be uh they can be pretty much anywhere so we'll see what happens i'm gonna go down one more room I'd love to do that room as well uh but i want to get keys first we're very low on keys on this run Okay. There we go. Give me a key. A bomb. Okay, that's not that's not a key. Give me a key in this room. All we want is a key. The key to the past. Speaking of keys to the past and days of future past, went and saw X-Men over the Memorial Day weekend. Okay, I will use a key to pop this. Uh, not worth it, but oh well. Uh, went and saw the new X-Men movie, Apocalypse. It was... Okay, I'm not gonna say it was great. Uh, I'll say it was good. It, I mean, it was good for a well-directed, lot of good actors kind of movie, but the plot came a little short in my opinion. Uh, I thought that the last movie was a lot better, but hey, my opinion means nothing to you, so don't worry about it. We just teleported way far. Okay, we're looking good. Uh, this will be a bunch of pins. There's a big debate about whether or not you have to get popcorn when you go to a movies. In my opinion, uh, no, you, you really don't. Uh, movie theater popcorn isn't even really all that good. It's just like a buttery mess. I just way screwed up that room. Okay, uh, please hit me again. No, okay, good. But you know, a lot of people, maybe you're one that likes to get some candy. 
whether it be some uh, dots, some Twizzlers. I don't know why dots was the first thing that came to mind. Dots are like the worst candy ever created. They're real good if you want to uh, remove all of your fillings, but that's about it. Okay, let's grab this bomb. And don't get me wrong, like, if you're going to bring me to a movie and say, hey man, we're going to get some popcorn, uh, you better believe I'm going to be eating it. But I just think that like there's better things in life than movie theater popcorn. And better uses of money, because usually they hike up the prices of the food and water at the freaking uh, movie theater to be ridiculous. Uh, you know what? I think per throwing that is the right move. Rotten Baby is a good item. I am going to, since we have the time, do some extra rooms in the look for in the search of a key, and then go back and go to our shop. Just because I think our shop is going to have a greed fight in it, and uh, I'd like to be able to access a shop on our last floor. And who knows? Maybe we'll you know we'll do the hush fight on this run, and that'll be our big moment of fame to beat the hush as blue baby voluntarily uh that sounds like the stupidest idea one could ever do but you know we're pretty dumb so i'll do it there's our key uh we will go to our shop now could also get a battery charge uh and do something but that seems pretty dumb saying as there's only one charge left come in here we'll pick up robo baby uh and that's all i'm gonna pick up we're full on hp uh mainly thanks to serpent's kiss proving to be a incredible item on this run. Uh, I'm not complaining. Don't take that as me complaining. I think uh, this is a good scenario to be in, to have a lot of uh, spirit hearts and black hearts as blue baby. Wow, completely blank room. Uh, interesting. We can per throw a deal with the devil here if we get one, which I like the sound of. We can also uh, blank card per throw that guy there, which I'm also liking. Uh, or we can just take Brimstone, sure. And then per throw this, pick up Mr. Dolly, uh, which will give us most likely our three spirit hearts back. Uh, yeah, okay. This is seeming to be a pretty okay run. Uh, we only have really high damage plus probably the best offense invitive in the game. I think it's okay. Uh, I honestly have not had a Brim run in a really long time you know what we're going to i was hoping to pop into that cursed room but i want to wait until uh i get another charge here just in case there is a you know, like pandora's box cursed eye kind of situation in there i want to be able to re-roll it so let's go back down i will pop in here real quick yeah okay uh completely useless room but it's not like we can't defeat it in four seconds anyway, so that works out well. We have an extra, you know, reroll essentially if this cursed room has something really good in it. Like a deal with the devil that we'll randomly take. Empty vessel, uh, that is like a really good blue baby item. Because we will forever be in non-red health. So now we can fly forever and get random periods of invinci invincibility. This run is really good. Uh, that's about all I can say. And I am so thankful because let's be honest the runs lately uh for youtube pretty horrible okay more hands thank you uh item room maybe yep okay and we have a per throw ready we don't have a key though that's the only thing that i can say is a little bit uh lackluster on this run is our complete lack of keys which, you know, automatically makes the hush fight a big no-no. But obviously, uh, things can happen. We could get blank card uh, two of spades and pop this baby wide open. But we'll see. Okay, there's our key. Uh, we go to the shop first, pick up a three cent key, blow up this guy, get a nickel, take this champion belt, another damage up. Uh, who am I to complain, really? And then we crack into our item room. Please give me some other ridiculous damage item. Okay, 10 bombs. I'll take it. That's utility. Uh, I, we really don't need any other items on this run to successfully win. Uh, it's just a matter of getting to the end at this point. If there's something good in boss rush, uh, I'll totally fight it. But I think what we're going to do is look for a teleportation card... And we're not going to get one there. We don't have a key to get that. Here's our super secret room. 
in which we have red hearts. Uh, one last chance to get a nice teleport card, and instead we're just gonna go. Okay. We also get a spirit heart for our troubles. The game felt sorry for us for giving us, you know, brimstone high damage, uh, ridiculousness. So, yeah, you know, I'm sad, but the game, you know, made it up to me, it's okay. We are going to go to the dark room. And then, uh, I don't feel safe taking a random item and going, so let's just head down into the womb. And in the womb, we're gonna find something good. Okay, where is our boss? Our boss is... Our boss is to the right. Okay, that is a pretty good run. <laughs> I keep on, like, trying to find something wrong with this run, but no. Get Brimstone, like, four damage ups. Uh, it's, it's pretty okay. We also got a guppy item, that's a thing to note. Uh, we're two guppy items away from a nice guppy trance, which is tr short for transformation, and I don't know why I wanted to say the rest of the word there. But it's a real nice guppy trance. Health up, uh, sure, that uh, one spirit heart will really make the difference. But you know what, it's good to know, in case something crazy happens, uh, we now know exactly what our pills are. Okay, uh, am I lazy by not going and checking that chest and seeing if it has a key in it? Uh, yeah. Do I look like I care, though? Nah. Uh, I want to just end. I'll take this key. There, there's my, uh, laziness factor. That is not our boss. You kidding me? Uh, that was a huge waste of time, then. Our boss is down this way. Interesting. Uh, room layout is something that I need to, like, take time to figure out and, like understand to speed up my runs okay now keep the per throw because there are times where i'm just like absolutely clueless on where the boss could be and there's other you know speed runners and stuff that recognize room layouts and know exactly where bosses are going to be stuff like that i kind of want to get to that point oh yeah our boss was a double room probably mr fred yeah uh oh look mr fred already dead up in bed with his, uh, you know, head, Fred, dead. Let's go. Jesus Juice is okay. Uh, obviously not a run winner, but another damage up never hurt anybody. Is there some way to expand our brimstone range? Besides, like, getting quad shot conjoined or something like that. Because I'd be real uh, interested in, like, if there's a... Wow, that was really weird looking. If there's a trinket for, like, uh, expanding your brimstone. Or, like, Papua Duplex. Does that work with, uh... We'll do blank card Jera instead of blank card Perthrow. Uh, but does that work with uh, brimstone, Papua Duplex? Because it does. Papua Duplex. It was already, like, one of my always pick up kind of items even though it doesn't really do much i just think it's a fun item but that would make it uh, a lot more valuable by the way blank card jera essentially like ensures that we pick up uh guppy on this run because we will eventually by duplicating red chests in the uh dark room we will be able to pick up guppy eventually that's at least my hope if it works exactly like that, I'll be surprised, but we sure will see. Mom's heart's gonna go down real fast. We're not gonna do the hush fight. I think that'd just be like me pretending to do too much with my life by going and doing the hush fight, but it's fine. We're not going to the cathedral. We're going down, down, call in Fallout Boy to finish up my uh, scenario here. See how fast we can do shield without uh, completely getting wrecked with damage. Taking down Mega Fatty in, uh, you know, two Brim Lasers, which is pretty okay. My bad. Three Brim Lasers, but like two and a tiny bit. I also like that, like, Rotten Baby fires a uh, fly right after I fire my Brimstone. So it's like the one two punch. Speaking of one-two punch, Cavs versus Warriors, everybody. Uh, why exactly am I doing this? 
because you'll see. This is where we Yera. And that's going to give us a lot of stuff. And we can essentially Yera again, pick up enough keys to suit the rest of the run. Uh, or we just pick all this up because we don't care. That that sounds like the greater deal here. Uh, I'm a man of my word. I say that unless I'm playing as the loss or keeper, Bob's brain is a must pick up. So I will and absolutely pick it up. You all thought I was going to be uh, all, oh, well, we're blue baby, so I'm not picking up Bob's brain. And then somebody's going to call me out. Uh, Tyler, you claim Bob's brain is such a great item, but you never pick it up. I'm going to say suck on those okay we're in once again I don't have to repeat this over and over again but we're in real good shape to win this run uh, we basically just have to find the exit and we win uh, will I reroll this run that's a real good question I'd like to think I won't uh, and indeed I will not okay reroll those uh, I, there's no reason to Yara those. We'll come in here though. Really wanted that guppy item, but the world goes on. Okay. Callus is completely useless for us. And finding our boss is now like a must, and I have no idea where it is. Okay. Sure, we'll Yara those to pick up, just in case pick up money equals power, uh, but really just the extra keys is what I'm looking for at this point. Just in case we come across gold chests on the uh, cathedral dark room, mainly because I think we're going to be able to pick up uh, the, the, the Guppy's tail, and that's the nice opportunity to pick up a lot of golden chests, so I want to have a lot of uh, reasons to be able to open them, which is found by having keys. That took a long time to say, but y'all knew what I was talking about. Okay, bad damage, but second phase Satan dead. Third phase on its way. Basically just have to fire like two brimstone lasers and we're done. Uh, there's that done. That's going to unlock the forget me now, which, uh, you know, it can be okay. There it is. Forget me now. And then, this is where we start the Yara Extremities. Basically, when we get a charge, we will go back, Yara again. I think two Yaras is enough for me to uh, call it safe on the old getting guppy items trail. That's like, you know, 24, 16, uh, something like that. Uh, chest, that's a pretty good amount. I think the opportunity to get guppy in those is pretty high. Okay, one makes you larger, really don't need. I uh, shouldn't have taken that battery charge, but we'll Yara those. We'll Yara one more time after that. That's going to be, like, a lot of chests. And that's when we uh, go to town. Okay. Looking good, looking good. I'm real excited to crack into those red chests. I already know, we're going to get Pandora's box, we're going to get... Uh, crystal ball it's not quite what i wanted to say there but sure we'll take it high priestess we'll stick with blank cargera brownie uh, continues to be a pain no matter what but we basically can't die because life is incredible on this run time to see if we can pick up guppy here that would make it even better yara okay let's go You've got to be freaking kidding me. Okay, Sives. Sure, I'll take them. Continue the onslaught of chest. We're going back here again. You know what? Maybe we uh, maybe we wait. <laughs> I'm a, becoming a little less uh, thinking that we're going to pick up Guppy just by walk, walking into the rest of those chests. Seems a little bit uh, sketchy there. So we'll go pick up another charge, then go back. When you Yara a chest, it doesn't uh, it doesn't keep the exact same thing in the chest, does it? Am I noobing hardcore here, or is this actually a strategy? Ah, uh, we'll see. Give me some kind of crazy item in here. We pick up Charm of the Vampire. That is horrible. 
But let's go Yara again. La la la. We're spending the longest amount of time on the last floor. That's not exactly normal. Back to the deal with the devil. I'm starting to think that this might actually be the case. There's also a lot of bombs now. Oh boy. I think I've goofed, guys. <laughs> on the bright side, we've been to our devil deal with the devil a solid like 48 times on this run. Okay. Okay, we're never going to get guppy items, so let's save our Yara for a time where we get a chest, and then just start duping those, uh, and then life will be good there. My bad, uh, I have never Yara'd the dark room chests, so I really did not know what was going to happen. Okay, stop hitting me, please. Thank you. Uh, a bomb, you're too kind. The HP is getting a little bit low, but really not concerned at all. This run is still won. Everybody's, you know, watching patiently going, Oh, Tyler, uh, your, your HP is getting a little bit low. Don't worry. It's okay. And once we find a chest, life is going to be even better. No chest? Okay. That's fine. We're fine. Another bomb. Starting to look like we're just never going to find chests, uh, which, to be fair, at this point, who really cares? We ended up with a decent consumable line as well, just with the sheer amount of uh, keys, bombs, coins. It's a good time. Okay. No chests. Let's just fight the lamb, get this over with here. We will survive this fine. We just need to... You know, get the damage in now. Uh, excellent move. I'm proud of you, bud. That was good. Uh, another great move. Okay, you're dead. Uh, fun run. We picked up Hive Baby and Blue Baby's Soul, which, uh, you know, it's an okay trinket, but nothing too, too spectacular. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Next episode, we're going to pop back into greed mode uh, in an attempt to unlock the Keeper. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.